Good morning and grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus the Christ. Amen. This morning I'm sharing the Old Testament reading for this coming Sunday, the 16th Sunday after Pentecost, from Genesis 50, verses 15 through 21, and from the King James Version. And when Joseph's brethren saw that the father was dead, they said, Joseph will peradventure hate us and will certainly requite us all the evil which we did unto him. And they sent a message un messenger unto Joseph, saying, Thy father did command before he died, saying, So shall ye say unto Joseph, Forgive, I pray thee now, the trespass of thy brethren and their sin, for they did unto thee evil. And now we pray thee, forgive the trespass of the servants of the God of thy father. And Joseph wept when they spake unto him. And his brethren also went and fell down before his face, and they said, Behold, we be thy servants. And Joseph said unto them, Fear not, for am I in the place of God? But as for you, ye thought evil against me, but God meant it unto good, to bring to pass, as it is this day, to save much people alive. Now therefore fear ye not, I will nourish you and your little ones. And he comforted them and spake kindly unto them. Here ends the reading. Forgiveness. How full of forgiveness Joseph was. He had been betrayed by his brothers. They had sold him into slavery, but he forgave them anyway. He forgave them and fed them and their families throughout the famine. It is a sad thing when families get separated because of sin, because of jealousy or ego or plain old self-centeredness, but it happens more than we'd like to think it does. Out of jealousy, because Joseph was a favorite of their fathers, he was their father's beloved son. The brothers had plotted to get rid of him, and they succeeded. But God had a plan for Joseph, a really good plan. As he had been a favorite of his father, he became a trusted favorite of Pharaoh and had the authority, the ability to save his brothers, his family, who in the beginning had no desire to save him. But out of something that started out as seemingly so horrific, God had a good plan. He had a good plan for both Joseph and his brothers, who in the end had humbled themselves enough to ask for forgiveness for their sins against Joseph. Out of jealousy of those in authority over the temple, Jesus was also put to death. But unbeknownst to them, God had a good plan. Out of something so horrific as being crucified, an innocent man crucified, all who believed in this beloved son would be forgiven their sins. As St. Paul wrote to the Romans, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God to them who are called according to his purpose. Let us pray. Lord God, help us to forgive as Joseph forgave, as your only begotten son forgives, as you forgive, so that in the end those things that have torn us apart will no longer have hold over us, but bring us together in your love, in your light, who is Jesus the Christ. Amen.